Hey everyone, this is a project that I just finished. This is a temperature controlled water circulator. So I've got a lot of things in the shop that require cooling water, uh, two diffusion pumps, uh, a magnetron, a uh, ruby laser tube, and um, it's nice to have a supply of cool water uh, without going outside and connecting up like the garden hose. I mean, not only is that wasteful, uh, I don't have very good control of the temperature. So this unit here is uh, basically a water pump, an air conditioner, and a heater. And the heater and air conditioner are controlled by a PID controller. So let me show you how it works. Uh, the main power switch here switches on a pump and also supplies power to the PID controller. And I've got a little visual flow indicator here so that you know if there's any water actually going through the cooling circuit. These connectors are pretty cool. They have a valve on both the uh, jack side and the plug side. So if I disconnect this, just a few drops of water leak out. Uh, obviously there's no flow anymore because it's not connected. And then as soon as I connect this again, uh, it, it reestablishes the flow and it's very easy not to leak water all over the place. So if this is connected to a long 10 foot hose and you disconnect it, it doesn't you know, dribble out all over the place. The PID controller is a Eurotherm 2132, and there's uh, someone on eBay selling these used with a, includes a um, platinum resistive temperature device, uh, all for 75 bucks, which is a pretty good deal. And I've used these before in other projects, and they, they work quite well. I added a couple of manual override switches so that even if the PID controller is calling for cooling or heating, uh, you can toggle one of these switches to override it. This is handy if you don't really care about the temperature accuracy very much. You can turn the heater off, and then if the uh, you know water gets too cold because the air conditioner was left on, if the PID loop isn't tuned quite right, it won't engage the heater and waste power. Here's a shot of the inside. Uh, the pump and the, the thermal block with the heater and the flow indicator I got from a hypothermia recovery unit, uh, which is an interesting piece of uh, medical surplus that I picked up for cheap. And the idea was that you pump warm water around a jacket and that it warms you up slowly so that you don't, uh, you know, die of hypothermia. Um, but I took that and added to it this water cooler. Uh, this is a window air conditioning unit where I've removed the fan that actually blows air out into the room. So it still has the fan that blows hot air out into the uh, outdoors. And I took the unit that, that's supposed to produce cold air for your room and dunked it into the water in this cooler here. So the idea is when the air conditioner is running, uh, this gets really cold and cools down the water that's in the, that's in the chiller or in the uh, cooler there. To control the heater, which is about five or 600 watts, I used a solid state relay, which is here, and used the output from the uh, PID control unit kind of normally as they intended, but with that override switch in line. The cooling to control this air conditioner, uh, normally the PID unit has a, a relay internally and you can use that relay to switch 110 volt power. But the relay is, uh, well the unit's only rated for two amps. And I took it apart and as it turns out the relay is actually rated for six. But even still this air conditioner is gonna draw uh, more than that. So I opened up the PID control unit and basically removed the relay and connected the relay coil co contacts to the back of the unit. So then I added my own relay and connected that up to the PID controller so I could switch, you know, 20 amps. So the output 2 indicator is on, which means that the PID unit wants to uh, enact cooling, and it has a set point temperature of 50 degrees. So if I flip the switch on the cool button, or on the cool switch, uh, the air conditioner starts up, and uh, it'll take it probably, you know, 10 or 15 minutes to get down to 50 degree F temperature uh, cooling water. So as you can see, the top of the wooden case still fits on there and I can shut the doors. And it's really not too loud. Uh, it could be slightly quieter, but it's really not so bad. Uh, to get airflow in for the air conditioning unit, I just cut away some of the cabinet. So there's a lot of air that goes in the side and then the warm air comes out the back. It's not ideal, but it moves plenty of air and it has no trouble cooling the water down. Okay, see you next time. Bye.